Alright, and today we are talking about compositing and also paperless because it's useful to both. Anyway, we're gonna put textures on your animation! Yay! So do you sometimes look at your digital animation and wonder, hmm, how could I make this look less digital? Well, adding textures to it is usually a right answer. But adding textures frame by frame and like switching the textures so that it fits your animation, sometimes it can be a little bit of a nightmare. So the good news is Harmony has a way to make that very easy and that's what we're gonna see together today. So somewhere in the forgotten realms of the old features of Harmony lies a very useful tool called the Exposure Fill. It's located in Animation, Exposure Fill, and this thing is pretty cool. The Exposure Fill is a tool that allows you to easily analyze an animation and have a new texture appear every time your drawing moves enough. So no need to eyeball it. Harmony is gonna do that for you. So how it works. First, find yourself some animation hand-drawn or rigged, it doesn't matter as long as it's flat on one z-axis. Because if you got lots of different layering, it can get a little bit complicated. Uh, but compositing is complicated with z-axis, so anyway. What I'm gonna use today is Sam the Seahorse, because I have it on hand and it's pretty cute. So Sam the Seahorse is a hybrid animation because it's mainly hand-drawn, but like the irises are rigged. And he's got multiple layers, so one for his hair, one for his body, a few for his eyes and one for his dorsal fin. So I'm gonna show you that it also works with hybrid, rigged animation, and also paperless. So once you find yourself some animation, uh, the second step is to find yourself some textures. So what I did for this video, I went on Google and I found some pretty cool paper texture. So it's not gonna look good. There's gonna be some copyright names and stuff, but it's fine, it's for educational purposes. So here's my texture layer. It's got some pretty cool, uh, amazing textures. Um, I don't need to have texture for my whole scene, you just need a bunch and then Harmony will make them appear each time you have a new drawing, but we'll get to that later. So just find yourself some frames of textures, bring them in on a separate layer, and then we go to the next step. We have to calculate when our animation changes so that it would require a new drawing. So even in the old days when we were making traditional animation, if the character was just blinking, you wouldn't need a new drawing for the body, they would just keep that cell and then change the eyes. So that's why we're gonna calculate as well. So what Harmony's gonna do is calculate whether or not your new drawing requires a new texture or not. How to do that? Make sure that you have a display showing only your character. So I'm gonna go to Sam the Seahorse's display so that I only see my character. This will help Harmony because it's gonna use the alpha to calculate. And the next step is to click on your texture layer, go to animation, exposure fill, and find using render change. What this will do is calculate a bunch of stuff and then you're gonna get that window. So, so far I don't see anything because on my first frame my seahorse is not there. But as I move on, I'm gonna find my seahorse. And what you see here is Harmony calculating whether it needs a new drawing or not. So the number of drawing in the cycle is how many different textures you have. So I know that I have eight. So I'm gonna write eight here. So let's press on OK and see what it did. So now that I pressed OK, I'm gonna go back to my real scene, YouTube, and go to my texture layer and as you can see, here in my timeline, it's the same drawing showing up because I don't have my character. But as soon as my character is showing up, you see that my texture will change each time I have a new drawing. First, now it looks stupid. <laughs> but what it did is just make your texture change each time you have a new drawing. After that, what you do with your texture is up to your creativity. So I'm gonna go here and composite my texture. Uh, because I was using a complex multiplane setup, I also need to attach my texture to my character's peg just so that they're in the same z-depth. So that's what I'm gonna do. There, it's gonna work. And now my texture is in front of my character. And then to composite it, I'm just gonna go get a cutter. I really love Harmony 20's new way to get notes, it's insane. I'm gonna go here and I'll cut it with my character. That's the first, I'm gonna invert it. After that, you can go ahead and get a blending node. Just connect it here. And in that node, I'm gonna go and set it to uh, maybe multiply. Multiply should do the trick. So now I have a paper texture on my character. That's it, really. Now if I make a quick render. All right, so here's the result. Uh, disclaimer, I chose textures that were really, 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 really different from one another so that you could see on a small mobile screen. But uh, yeah, so that's what it does. I also chose Sam's animation because I know that here we have lots of drawings that are very close to each other and that they are animated on once. So sometimes that's gonna make my texture look a bit weird. So these are the little case where you could have the sensitivity uh, a less high so that your texture changes less often. Or you can also just fix these little moments by hand and it's way quicker than doing everything by hand. So if you see that this part is a bit too uh, changing, change heavy, you can just delete a few frames here once in a while. 
and then I'm just going to select them and press on that tool to fill in the blanks and it should make my scene look less crazy. So this technique will work on any animation as long as it's flat, like it's just made to add a flat texture above everything. Um, so yeah, it's going to work with paperless and regular animation as long as you want it to be applied as a whole like that for like a whole paper texture. And that's it. After that, you're done. So I hope you have fun putting textures on your animation.